I'm just over here trying to edit this video, and there she is, right there, just staring at me. It's like, I feel like, are you just like waiting to pounce? Or are you waiting for me to just do something? I feel like you're gonna attack. Here comes Daisy. Hey, sweetie. What you doing? Hi, honey. <laughs> I love that you come over for for attention. Oh, here comes everybody else. Hey, hey. What you doing, Jack? Hi, sweet boy. <laughs> Now the sun's in my face. Well, there's just no really easy way to do this, is there? Oh, thank you, Daisy, for peeing right there, like at my feet. It's great. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. All right, so we are a few days into January, and um, so I hope everybody had a fun, safe, happy New Year's. Uh, did Fred? Uh, did anybody make any New Year's resolutions? Do y'all even do that? Um, I used to do that. Uh, I did it a few times. I think it's just so silly because, I mean, just like everybody else, you know, I'd say, and your typical resolution being, oh, I'm going to eat healthy and I'm going to slap a rooster. <laughs> you know, most people, you know, always say that they're going to eat healthier and they're going to uh, drink more water and they're going to lose weight and everything. And But come February, any, late that, any weight that they possibly have lost has probably already come back and they've fallen off the wagon. And yeah, and I'm no exception to that rule. So I don't do resolutions. Hi. <laughs> but I have Daisy. Oh no, come back. Oh wait, my hair. My hair is cut on your I was actually watching a video of another YouTuber that I've been subscribed to her for a while and I haven't watched any of her videos in a while. Um, but anyway, so she got talking about, here comes Randy. He, or she got talking about, um, maybe it was kind of ridiculous to try to come out here and sit with the goats and do this video. You got kids in a bowl. Look at these two. <laughs> This is so ridiculous. Anyway, okay, what am I even saying? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, okay, so I had been watching, um, she didn't do a New Year's resolution either. She does like these vision boards and, um, and it just, you know, like how you want your year to go. And she just kind of described it as, I mean, you know, it's not just for you, like you could put down things for yourself, for your family, your spouse, your home, um, you know, just pretty much anything. And the way she kind of described it was like shopping the universe for possibilities, things that you want to like, you know, things that you would like to have happen. Um, during this new year. And I kind of like that idea. So I didn't actually create a vision board like she did, but I did make a list of some things that I would really like to see done this year. And um, and I, I do have, I don't know if I'm gonna share them on here exactly, but but that was just, it, instead of doing a new year's resolution, it's just like things that at some point in time this year to have these certain things get done would be great. I'd be really happy with that. But well, and then just at the end of the year, we'll go back and take a look at that list and we'll see what happens. Hello, Jack. I've got lots of goats right around me. Randy, Bella in a bowl. Uh, so that's what I did for, uh, for New Year's. The girls and I, we did. <laughs> we did stay up and do fireworks, but since uh, we, I, I'm not, I'm not one for staying up real late at night. I, we stayed up and I stayed up until about 11 o'clock, which is 11 or 12 o'clock Eastern time. So that was close enough for me. And I'm like, you know what? It's midnight somewhere. So we're shooting off the fireworks saying happy, happy. I almost said happy anniversary. Happy new year. <laughs> and called it good. I don't like staying up. <laughs> Oh shoot, my hair is in her horns again. I gotta stop doing that. I'm gonna have to fix my hair again. That's what we did for New Year's and uh, I didn't like cook up anything special. I think we had, maybe we had pizza. I think, I think that's what I did. I think I cooked up a pizza or did I? Today, uh, this morning, it was it was a little chilly out. It's warmed up. I mean, it's warmed up enough where like I can have a sweater on, but don't don't need a jacket. So that's kind of nice. I don't. I actually, this is my favorite kind of weather, where it's just cold enough, where you know you can wear a long sleeve, and that's it. And the sun is out. We're just kind of hanging out today. We have a refrigerator is getting repaired today, so I'm really excited about that because the stupid refrigerator keeps freezing up on us and we keep like thawing it out and we thought we fixed the problem we didn't fix the problem apparently the 
the heater went out. So it sounds so like contradicting. The heater went out on the refrigerator. The thing that makes your food cold. The thing that, <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but you know, to somebody, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, the, the heater went out in the refrigerator. So everything winds up icing over and then it causes problems. And so anyway, it's getting fixed today. So yay. Um, Megan stayed home from school because yesterday she wasn't feeling well and uh, she's doing better today. So that's really good. Now I'm just kind of hanging out with the uh, animals. I went to the feed store and got some more pig food this morning and I got another storage container for them. So now we've got um, a little bit more room in our laundry room. So I'm very happy about that. I used the wheelbarrow to um, bring the food from my truck over to where the pigs are. And when I went to take that bottom bag, when I went to take the, the bag that was on the bottom inside the wheelbarrow, it was not, not only wet, but it was wet and rusty and dirty. And I got it all over my nice clean jeans. So I had to go back into the washer. And so now I'm just sitting here wearing my leggings. That's all right, because um, I'm gonna go ahead today. I think today today is Wednesday. So today is a good day to get the water trough cleaned out and get the chicken coop cleaned out as well. So I think that is what I'm gonna do today. Don't really want to, but it's got to get done. <sighs> Chores. Everybody snacking on a tree. There's Daisy's way over there, all the way in there. Can you see her moving? Randy is headbutting a tree. Okay, so I got that flipped over, scrubbed it all out. So now I'm filling it up with some fresh water now. Of course, when I flip it and I'll stand it up on the side, well, yeah, I'll stand it up on its side on the pallet over here. And then Randy comes over and he's got to inspect everything. He's kind of like frightened that way. He's like, what are you doing with our water trough? <laughs> okay, I think the doghouse is pretty good, but I think need some more in the shed over here because they get in there and they smush it all down so might have to clean some of that out but we'll get that all that taken care of whoa holy crap oh dude you get a little crazy pants there you dang near bulldoze her over what are you doing hi handsome where'd jack go i thought i thought i heard jack too is he under here Jack, I see you. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh-oh. No, no. Oh, oh. Randy's got the zoomies. Holy crap. Ah! <laughs> oh, you fell. I was gonna say, you better stop before you get to me, sir. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. I got Daisy headbutt my leg. Hi, loves. Yeah, I'm paying attention to you, Randy. Go ahead, keep running, I'm watching. Don't headbutt the tree. Keep running, buddy, I'm watching you. Yeah, I'm watching. There he goes. Daisy, why do you always wanna pee next to my feet? <gasps> Look at Jack, hey. Hey, sweet boy. Are you taking an aggression out on that tree there, buddy? <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi, baby. Sick a boy. Hey, good boy. Oh. I know, I'm watching you, buddy. We had a storm come through um, a couple nights ago, and we, you know, we've had storms come through that have lasted all night before, but this particular storm, I guess, just really scared the goats. And it was, it scared them enough where, you know, Izzy is, is a goat that does not like anybody to touch her. She does not enjoy getting pet. She does not enjoy uh, hugs or really anything. She just wants you to leave her alone. And she's kind of trained Bella to do the same thing, which is really disappointing, but I'm working with her. And anyway, so this storm comes through and it lasted till like the morning. And after I took the girls to school and everything, I came back home. Well, actually before I took the girls to school, I fed them and Randy over here, um, like the girls, the kids and the girls, like they came out of the shed and they were we're all eating but Randy stood in the doorway of the shed and he just looked at me kind of like that <laughs> and no buddy don't do that stop 
it's like a child. And he just kind of stood there looking at me and um, and he just, he didn't want to, um, he didn't want to come out. And I was talking to him and I, I pet him and everything and then I kind of left him be and I thought, well, maybe he just needs a minute. Abnormal because usually when I bring the food, you've seen him before, he runs up to you and kind of gets in front of you and makes it difficult to walk. Uh, but this time he didn't even want to come out of the shed, but I, I left him be. He came out eventually, started eating, he was fine. And then after, I don't know, an hour or so, Daisy and Izzy, they kept yelling. They kept looking at the house and they were yelling. So finally came out here to find out what was going on. Everybody just come running to me and Izzy ran up to me and was practically leaning on me. And I think they were just really scared of that storm. I think it really just made them real scared because Izzy, um, she let me pet her and hug her and she was kind of leaning on me a little bit. And, and I just kind of pet her and just was talking to her. And, and then of course I had Izzy that I'm being allowed to pet and I'm enjoying this, but then Daisy, co Daisy comes over. So I have Izzy here, Daisy's over here, Jack is in the middle, and then Randy comes up underneath here. And I'm like, I, suddenly I just, I don't have enough arms to pet everybody. And the only one that wouldn't still even after a storm like that, Bella, she didn't want anything to do with me and she just kind of like stood off to the side, just watching. Hey, don't you come up behind me, goofball. I see you. Anyway, I just thought that was really crazy. I really appreciated that <laughs> Izzy let me pet her and love on her for a little while. Look at you, I see you. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> You're such a kid, Randy. Where'd you go? Here he is. You're such a silly boy. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? You excited? Are you excited? Hi. And back to eating my shoe. See, that was the end of that story, huh, Randy? Yeah, it was a scary storm. It sucked, nobody liked it. It sounded like the thunder was like right over the house. Felt like it shook the house, huh? If it felt like it shook that house, I can't imagine what it must have felt like shaking this house, huh? So that was crazy. <laughs> have you had enough? You taking a little break now? You good? Burn off some energy? Oh my God, Daisy. <laughs> Just knock me over. <laughs> you silly girl. Randy taking a little break. Of course, then again, it might be that time of day when Jack might be taking it. Are you going to take a nap, buddy? Is it nap time? Do go kids actually take naps too? Huh? Cutie. You little cutie patootie. How are we doing there, Daisy? Is it good? Nice clean water? <laughs> Bruce, you crack me up. A little salad snack for uh, the pigs and chickens. I think the chicken's like this. Yeah, they seem to be liking it. So it's already been a few hours. Um, I've already come out here and taken care of their water, scrubbed out the pool that's over there. I need to take that out of there because they just keep messing with it. So anyway, I scrubbed out their pool and uh, refilled it with some fresh water. So everybody is good there. So I figured I'd come out here and give the um, pigs and chickens a little snack. Some of the lettuce was starting to go a little bit bad. Bruce, you've got some lettuce on your uh, on your back there. This is the other storage container that I had gotten for the pig's food. So now that that is out of the laundry room, it's just a little bit nicer. We have room for other crap to clutter our laundry room because that's just usually the way it goes. So, but as you can see, I got two different sizes here. This was the, the one I accidentally got for the chickens. That one is way bigger than this one, but whatever. I would have liked to have gotten another one just like this for the pigs because I do like this size. This fits like four bag, I think it's like four bags of the chicken food. I I could even get five in there. I would have liked to have gotten another one of these except for the uh, feed store didn't have it. So that was the biggest one that they had there. So whatever, it, it's gonna get used, it doesn't matter. Let's come over here and see what the goats are doing. I see them there. There's Randy trying to take down a tree, I think. Oh, did you kids find a hollowed out uh, log? We're gonna get all these like, all this dead stuff out of here. We're gonna get this all cleaned up. Yes, that way y'all have a little bit more running around. Oh, good job, Randy. I don't know if you could see that, but he just stood on that tree. <laughs> he really wants those leaves back there. I know, we're gonna get all this taken care of for you. 
We're gonna get all the dead stuff out of here. We're gonna get all the new stuff down here for you to eat. Be a little bit happier. I mean, it's nice when we do finally like get like chunks cleared out and then we have like more walking room. The goats have more walking room. We're slowly chipping away at this area. I don't know if y'all remember me talking about it before, but this uh, this whole goat pen area is, is actually temporary. We're gonna have this area uh, set up for like our hangout space, but it's gonna be like more towards the middle. We'll have like, uh, you know, our little bonfires and we'll have this, we'll have this looking nice. We won't have like all the trees like so close together. So we'll like, you know, we, we want like nicer spacing, you know, just, we have a plan. We have a plan and we're slowly gonna get there and the goats are gonna help us. See, that's what he does. And usually he helps TJ pick out what trees he wants to eat. And then TJ will come in here with the chainsaw and bend the trees down for him. And if TJ is in here to do it, then he kind of does it himself. <laughs> he does what he can. You're a good goat, Randy. He's like, I'm trying. I'm really trying. <laughs> All right, now you can see them. <laughs> All right, well, that is gonna do it for today's video, y'all. And I hope that you liked it. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe and share with somebody you love. And I'll see you next time. Bye. What are y'all doing? Why are you like all huddled at this corner? Y'all are goofy. Were you just checking out what I was doing down there? All standing at this corner and watching me way down there with the, <laughs> with the goats. Y'all are the silliest birds. No biggie biggies. <laughs>